Hi Sarah, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson this morning. So, really impressed with the work you've done. Just have a look at this as you take the club away. The very first thing that is happening is them hands are rotating. So already we can see the sign of your glove, seeing foot joy on the glove sign. And what that's doing is opening the club face as you take it away. That face we can see here is wide open and it keeps going low and around the body. So when you actually do get to hinge the club, it's in a very, very flat position there, pointing way above the ball, and the hands are too deep going back. As you get to the top in this position, club face is a little bit open. Okay, We can see the toe of the club is hanging sort of straight down a little bit. It's a bit open. Uh, and then from there, the arms for me are a little bit too deep. So as you start down, it's going to be a little bit too shallow, which is a good thing, but again... Just look at that club face, it's so open there. So it's really weak coming into the ball. For a strong fit lady, we need to get some more oomph out of you and the and the modern trend is for at least that club face to be square to shut coming down, Sarah. So if we have a look at your difference now of your new takeaway, this swing here on the right, all we try to do is feel like we push it away with the shoulders and then hinge it up. And we can see here it's still uh, low and around, but one, the club face is a little bit better and two, the, the, you can see the club hasn't actually gone outside the TV screen. So that's what's a little bit better here on the right. What has got better is when you get to the top, the club face matches the shaft plane. So we can see the face is hidden by the, uh, the plane, the shaft. And it's a sexy looking backswing now that the left arm and club forms one straight line. That's as good as it gets on tour where they swing here on the left. You can see we've got one line and we've got another line going that way. So... Uh, the swing on the right is, is beautiful and from there it's much easier for you to shallow the club, get the club tracking down uh, and on plane and trying to get good contact. I mean you look much more dynamic here through the ball Sarah so it's really really good. Quite happy with a lot of that. I just need to get that club face better going back so it's a push away with the shoulders and then a hinge and then when you reach halfway back in your swing try and check that left wrist. Make sure it's flat or bowed. We're trying to get it a little bit stronger, get you a bit more depth and power in the swing. Uh, but we get to this halfway stage, and it, it's, it's not too bad there, but that shaft should be steeper. We want to get it much more steep. So when you do go to what we call halfway back and set position, again, this line of the shafts there is way above the ball. We want to get it more that way. Okay, so a lot more steep. And again, I gave you a feeling of standing against a wall, if you miss the wall on the way back, you've done a great job. And then if you hit the wall on the way down, you've done a fantastic swing. So it's a miss it on the way up, hit it on the way down. Miss it on the way up, hit it on the way down. You'll get some uh, great results. Thanks, Sarah.